In this video, we're going to take a look at using Stripe Checkout with Rails. So I've set up an example app here. And as you can see, we've got our checkouts slash new page. And we're just using a static product for now. So um, this is to buy by Stripe on Rails course. Doesn't actually exist. Maybe it will someday. Um, we've got a buy now button, which uh, is hooked up to the checkouts create action, which currently is just going to redirect us to Google. So we'll change that now and uh, integrate Stripe checkout. So the first thing I've run is bundle add Stripe to add the Stripe gem to our application. And then I've created a stripe.rb initializer. And I've set my API key um, to an environment variable. Um, in your application, if you're not making the repository public, you'll probably want to use Rails applications and set your secret that way. The next thing I've created is this product model. And it just inherits from struct right now. And we have a method so we can call product Stripe Rails course and get back a product with an ID, name, description, and amount in cents. And so we will pass this to Stripe Checkout. The next thing I've set up is a Stripe service. And this has a method for creating a checkout session, which will take a user, the product, a success URL, and a cancel URL and basically configures all of the Stripe checkout stuff here. So you can create products inside Stripe's dashboard and things like that, but I think it's easier to just pass all the information that you want to Stripe, especially if you're creating a dynamic checkout where the products are all created on your own app. So after we create the checkout session, um, if that all works, we pass the session URL back in this Stripe service response. So this again is just a struct. So I like to um, create a struct here for the OK case, create a struct for the error case and pass back the error message. And then there's just a method on this itself called success that checks that the status is OK. And this URL is where we need to redirect the customer to. So if we go to the check-ins controller, you'll see we have our new action, which is uh, just renders the view. We have our create action, which redirects to google.com currently. And we have a success action as well, which is where we want to redirect the customers back to. So I'm just gonna paste in the code here and we'll just format this correctly. So we call our Stripe service create checkout session with the current user. Um, we pass our Stripe Rails course in as the product, and then we pass our success checkout URL as the success URL. And if they cancel the checkout flow, we're just going to send them back to the root URL. We then check the response that comes back from Stripe, and if it's successful, we do the redirect. And we have to pass this allow other host option just for uh, Rails security. And if the response fails, we set a flash alert with the error message and redirect back to the new checkout path. So we'll save this and I will go and check it out. So if I reload this page now, so if we click on the buy now button, we then get brought through to our Stripe checkout and you can see we are purchasing the ultimate Stripe Rails course. Um, you can set the price, obviously description. Um, you can add your own images in here if you want and you can fully tweak the colors, your logo and your pay button. So um, if we hit back, we go to the cancel URL, which is the root path. And if we go back to our checkout sessions and hit buy now, and we go ahead and we'll put in pete at rapidruby.com. And we'll put in our Stripe test card because we're currently in test mode. And we'll hit pay. And now that's processing and it's brought us through to our success URL. So I hope that was interesting. As you can see, it is really easy to use Stripe Checkout with Reels for one-time payments. Subscriptions aren't too bad either. 
although we need to implement webhooks for that and um, I'll maybe show you that in an upcoming video if you want to see that or more on Stripe please let me know in the comments and if you like this and want to see more please subscribe to the channel thanks